Hey guys, today we are going to do a little walkthrough of our new car. Yep, so we got a Land Cruiser uh, 200 series. It's right behind us, so we'll spin around and show you a shot of that. It's in the graphite color. Yeah, so we got it. When do we get it? November, I think. November. Early November. We're on a trip right now, so it's a bit messy. Um, we're up north in Cairns. Um, that's why it's a bit dirty. So, yeah, we're just going to show you. Oh, if the camera will spin. We're going to show you a little walk around of the car, basic walk around, not too in depth, uh, just so you know sort of what's involved in the car. So this is our TJM bar work, which we have on the front and on the sides, it goes down and around as well. We also have our light force light bar on both sides, on the left and the right. Then we have the x-ray vision spotties, which we will probably change out in the near future. This is our cell fire booster, so we have this on the Hilux as well, but this one is GME. So it's a different um, antenna. Antenna. It's a fiberglass one. So there, actually, I didn't know this, but someone told me that normal antenna that we had on our Hilux, if you've been following us, or just imagine normal antenna, that's still in there. And then they just put a fiberglass casing around the top. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. And then this one here is our UHF antenna, which is also GME. The last thing we have on the front of the car is the winch. If we go down here, it is TJM and it is nine and a half thousand pound, I believe. Yeah, and we use a um, wide remote. It's in that, that's a little outlet there, just so we don't hit the wireless one in the door and rip the whole front bar off or something. Yeah. And you can see our little um, DC to DC charger in there. It's a TJM one at the moment, but to be honest, we're probably gonna change it to a Red Arc just because of this trip and stuff we found out. Yeah, and we, we do use this quite often because we use it to pull our tinny on and off every time as well. So Yeah, we'll show you some footage of that soon. Fair workout. So under the bonnet, um, we have had it tuned. So it's got stage two uh, Just Autos tune. So that involves an auto lockup kit. Um, the car came with a three and a half inch exhaust or three inch exhaust, I believe. Um, DPF back, obviously it's a 2018 model, I probably should have said that at the start. Um, so it's got the exhaust, it's got dual battery system, we've got 102 amp hours of um, deep cycle battery under here, or lead acid, whatever you want to call it. Um, so that's all wired into this. We've got a catch can just over there. Uh, we got a standard airbox at the moment, but probably something we'll upgrade in the future just because of the whole dusting of these engines as they go on. It's only got about 58,000 kilometers, so that shouldn't really be a problem yet, and we do check it all the time. Um, the winch isolator's over there. Everything else is pretty standard. We don't have two... Oh, we got diff breathers over in that corner. See that little blue two-port diff breathers? Apparently you only need... This is what I got told, but apparently you only need two diff breathers on this car because the other ones are pretty high, but that's just what I've heard. I don't know if that's correct or not. We also have another solar input here as well as when we show you we have solar on the roof. So we have a TJM Aerotech snorkel. It has that little like um, stainless look but it's plastic. At first I didn't really like it but it's half growing on me. Um, yeah it's one thing that's growing on me. Down here uh, we are running ROH 
uh, 17 inch rims. I'm not sure of the offset they were on the car when we bought it. And we got BFG KO2 305 65 R17 tyres. Uh, it came with six of them. We got one under the car and we leave one at home. And yeah, they've been good so far. Nearly ready for a new set though. They've taken a beating on this trip. While I'm down here, the suspension, we have a GVM upgrade to 3.9 ton, 3.8 ton. I'll check the thing on the door, I'll put it on the screen now. Uh, it's TJM uh, foam cell, I think they call it. Uh, suspension, also we have airbag man, airbag assisters in the back. Um, so that just helps out when we tow, because we tow a fair bit and the car is pretty heavy as it is. So on the passenger side, we have the Darchi Eclipse awning. It is huge. But to be honest, we haven't really used it on this trip, but it looks awesome, it's a massive awning. It goes all the way out the front, all the way around the back, and it's so far back from our car, as you'll see in a photo I'll put here, um, just so we can open it when we have the tinny on the roof. Up on the roof rack. Up on the roof rack, we have our Mac tracks. You may notice we only have one on there because the other three are bent at the moment, but we'll get them up there again. We have a 150 watt red arc solar panel on the roof also that's permanently um, plugged in. It does have an Anderson plug to be able to be unscrewed and unplugged. Um, and then this is our roof rack that we made. Um, and that's where the tinny sits. So the tinny gunnel sits in this little channel here. Um, and it flips over the back. So yeah, that's about it up here. We were gonna put a bigger light bar up here, but you won't be able to open the sunroof. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the whole roof rack. So we're gonna go into the back now. We have it on manual because if we have it on auto, it'll hit the... the well, we don't have it on, but that's fine. So on this side, we have the custom installation 4x4 storage drawers. They were already in the car, but they are based in Perth, which are they're pretty good. This is a big one that we put most of our stuff in. And then this one is just a smaller one that we just put all of our um, straps and stuff in. And we've got our winch controller that we just spoke about before. They pull out like oh, yeah, they pull the out full all. way. They're just really messy. <laughs> um, and you can move these around too, can't you? Yeah, you can move those dividers, move which is good and bad because they move. Yeah, like this one is on an angle. Should be straight. You gotta press it. Yeah. I am pressing it. <laughs> can use the drawer. Um, it's also really good because you can tie down as well yeah. here, but we have our stove and our water jacket, our rain jacket on yeah. top because it has not stopped raining. Yeah. Um, we put our fishing gear in here so they lift up as well on the side, so that's also storage. This one here is a little kitchen bench top. We use that when we're just in the car. We yes. also have a fire extinguisher just for safety. What yep. were you going to say? Yeah, so the, as Bex, I think, about to say, the whole fridge like pulls out. Yeah, yeah like pulls out, and then the yeah, kitchen bench will pull out again. Further. Yeah. Um, we obviously have our fridge that we had in the Hilux as well. Yeah. Which. It's 75 litre. In an upcoming video, isn't really working, but anyways, it is what it is. Um, we also have a switch panel over here, which this does the lights up here, which would be good if they were in a different color. Yeah. Because the white is really good, except if you're cooking at night time, because then it's bugs for all. Uh, this one does our compressor. That's um, a little outlet there, too. Yeah, that's the outlet, so if you want to plug anything in. I don't know what, oh these two are just your... 12 volt and USBs. And some USB. That's a fridge kill switch, that's a Sperry. And as you can see right now, our battery system isn't really working because that says 12 volts. Yeah, and then what do we put inside? That's just where the compressor is. And then I put all the um, coolants, spares, like air filters, all that sort of stuff, bearing, grease, sparings, all that sort of stuff in there. And then in here, is I think the jack or something's got came out of here, but the the factory tools I think. But yeah, in here, we made it a little little storage. 
So I think I'm going to get some little foam insert and put a little foam insert in there for my lures. <laughs> <laughs> and we also have our grab bag. Cover bag. Yeah, grab bag that we always carry with us. So that, that's a grab bag. It's a really good point for you guys to carry. The first aid kit in there, small thing of water. It's actually got a little water filter in there, so you could drink out of a creek system or something like that. And it's got a UHF radio, not a big one. Uh, what else does it have in there? A V sheet or something like that, I think. Uh, just so you can attract attention. But yeah, that's we always know that's there. And we just grab that. So normally, if we're traveling remote, that's on the back passenger chair, like on the headrest, um, ready to go just in case. We got a little cargo barrier. They're made in Australia, some brand. I can't read that. Aowen or something? Yeah, we got that. So in the future, we did have a little shroud for this um, fridge to be made. But now with the ventilation problems and battery problems with this fridge, um, we didn't put it in just for this trip, and to be honest, I don't think we really needed it. No, I don't think we haven't needed it unless we're going to go like on a really remote trip and we need without the van, and stuff. without the van, yeah, without the van because we really don't need that much stuff in here. Yeah, when we're traveling with the van, um, we do put the swag on the back seat. Yeah. So if we put anything on top of the back seat, it is good to have that as well so it doesn't fall through. But usually there's nothing on top of the swag and there's nothing higher than this. Yeah. But it's, yeah, I hate traveling with stuff that's like my whole thing with the van is that you don't travel with stuff on the back seat apart from the swag. Um, because the tinny's on the roof, obviously, you can't put the swag on the roof. But when we travel um, with the tinny, we put the swag on the roof. If you come down here at the moment, we've got the tinny trailer tow ball in. Uh, we use this locked pin, so this pin has a little key on it. Um, heaven forbid if you lose it, but it is just a little bit more safety. Um, and then over here we got the 12-pin uh, trailer plug and the Anderson plug. That only powers the fridge on our van and that's our little reverse camera. These two outlets here are for our airbag um, helper. Helper bags, which you can see in there. There's a cable tie someone hasn't cut. <laughs> um, and then yeah, our spares down there also. So yeah, I haven't even used these to be honest. I'll probably use them on the way home because slowly, before the trip, before the trip and because it's new suspension, we got um, new suspension and I think it sagged a little bit, of course, over time. So I think on the way home, I'm gonna put, put a couple of PSI in that, but I'll let you know how that goes in maybe in an a -bag. Thanks for watching guys, if you liked this one leave a like and if you want to see more subscribe. If you have any questions about the rig at all, let us know down below. Thanks again, see you soon.